Well, I want to make a small quiche. And it's an odd shape. Like this. So what I do, I fill it up three quarters with water and then pour it into a measuring cup. Measure it. And I always, always want to use 50% egg and 50% milk. So I pour my milk in there. All I gotta do is bring it up to the halfway mark with the egg. Now I see, it's usually about three eggs. I see recipes for pie molds like this that call for three eggs. I mean, like, it's twice the size of this. This needs six eggs. Anyway, this is the uh, tart, the short dough from the uh, from the plum tart and the tomato tart. It works great for a uh, quiche. Ooh, yeah. I would like to make quiche with puff dough, but it doesn't work in a mold that has vertical sides like this. It has to be slope sided like that, 45 degree. This is almost vertical, it won't work, it will just fall inside. Hey, watch out for that. Oh, there you go. Plenty big enough, isn't it? When I spray this or or grease it, some shortening. I drop the dough straight down. Which will help prevent it from tearing at the bottom. Woohoo! Just cut it off on the outside. The dough's only been out of the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. Easy to roll because of the margarine. And I use, um, don't use the margarine that comes in the tubs. This is a firm, this is a firm margarine. Great for baking. It's almost the same texture as uh, butter. Yeah, see? It's hard. The stuff that comes in the tubs, that's spread. It's full of water, it's no good for doughs, no good for anything. Except spreading. I always keep a couple of pounds of that stuff around. Funny is, it costs as much as butter. It's the same price as the. Uh, Cheap butter. Oh, make sure the dough sits right down in the in the corner, straight down, straight across. Push it in and dock it a little bit. And some. So this. Couple of slices. Um, I don't find using expensive ham makes it any better. Might as well just uh, just use cheap ham. Like I, I wouldn't bother using black forest or smoked ham or honey cured or any of that stuff. Anyway, 
So there's my milk. I don't want to bring it up halfway. Okay. Anyway, let's see what we get. Two eggs. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to take three. There we go. Halfway mark. Hey! Anytime you're using milk in something, it's best to use white pepper. Go easy on the salt because it's uh, it's a lot of ham and cheeses. They're high in salt. Nutmeg. If you use too much, it'll taste like soap. And pepper. Uh, yeah, oh, come on. Yeah, teach my wife. And then and just right, get in there. And throw it in the toaster oven. I'll try um thirty minutes at uh, three seventy five I guess. Oh yeah. Like that. Thirty minutes. Three seventy-five. Yeah. I like that little more because it goes in the toaster oven just right. I was gonna say I've been. I'm still feeding my. Uh, ginger beer starter. I wanted to make some um, uh, nettle beer. Can't find nettles. So I bought some uh, uh, here's an, an envelope of nettle seeds. There's 5,000 seeds in this. I mean they're tiny, tiny Put the head of a pen. And I this is the second envelope I bought of these. First one, I didn't find a single sprout. Because I don't really remember where I planted them. But um the second batch. Let me take this camera. Ooh. Second batch. I put them in the window box. Here they are. Those are nettles. You can feel the sting. Oh, it's killing me. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, it's not even, not even like a mosquito, but it's just histamine. So this is all I'm getting. And they don't seem to grow much bigger than this. I thought it'd take over the whole garden. It's supposed to be a weed. Anyway. Uh, lawn needs mowing. There's trees. What are you doing? What are you doing? Wow. All right, we'll go back inside. You want to come have some snacks? Alright, that's it.